Hello all. In this particular, I'll be talking about converting an RAG database to non-RAG or single instance. I'll be using the mix of DBCA plus manually. All the steps that are mentioned here can be done manually, which I have already shown in another video. However, if you use the DBCA, some steps get reduced that you have to perform manually and you can speed up the activity. That's why I'm showing you this option as well. Personally, I would, I would prefer this particular option because it reduces our work, but the choice is yours, whether you want to do everything manually or you want to do some steps DBCA via DBCA or some steps via some steps via DBCA plus manually or all the steps manually. I will explain what we need to do first and then once I have explained, I will go to the actual lab. So I have a database called ConvertD. So this is the database and I will be, this is the right database. I will show you to you right away. So I will launch the DBUA, which will show, show you that this particular database, the ConvertD database, it's a RAG database. It's a two node uh, track setup. So I have two instances for this particular database. So ConvertD, this is the database that I have chosen for this particular exercise. And you can see it's a 19C database. It's a RAG database. So this is the database that I will be, you have chosen to convert to single instance. The Using this particular command, we can also using this particular command, we can see the instance. So I'll do that as well. So let me, let me disconnect from convert M. Let me connect to convert D. And if we are converted, let's connect it. Then I will show you that you can see that I have got two instance one and two running on node one and node two. So there are two instances which are running right now. And it's a RAG database as you can, you, you saw here as well. And you can see here as well that I've got two instances associated with this particular database. The show parameter cluster is not required, but we can check that it should be set to two. The show parameter SP file will show you whether the database is started with SP file or P file. We will, if it is started with SP file, we'll create the P file. If it is already started with P file, no need to execute this particular step. We will check the remote connectivity via SQL developer or any client. This particular step is important. This particular step, make sure that your database is registered with the listener. At the same time, it also validates that your password file is working because the remote connectivity for the sysdba happens via the, the password file. So this particular step is important. Make sure you test it before and after, uh, before performing that you are able to connect via the sysdba and after performing the conversion you are able to use the same password make sure that you are you are doing that particular test the uh, i will be launching the dbca and i will be choosing this particular option oracle rack database instance management so this is the that is option that i'll be using and once i using this particular in, option i will be dropping the instance too once that is done i will stop the database okay well, I'll stop the database and I will use the file. I will copy this particular file, the P file that we created from the SP file. I will copy without the instance name. In this particular file, I'll do the three changes. I will remove the parameters related to instance two. I will rename the parameters related to instance one as star and I will change the cluster database to false. These are the three things that I will do in this particular parameter file, the P file. Then I will be removing the database from the cluster. So I'll use the SRVCTL remove command to remove the database from the cluster. And I will add that particular database back into the cluster using SRVCTL command. So this particular command I will be using to add it back. And this time I will specify the DB type as single. Then I will start my database. At this moment, your database is now single instance. It's done. Whatever you are supposed to do, that's done. But however, we have to do some post activities such as we have to set up the aura tab entry. entry. We will check the database is started with P file or SP file. If it is started with the P file, we will create the SP file again from the P file in the ASM location. We will delete the old SP file. We don't no longer require. This is an optional step. You can leave the old SP file, but we can delete it as well. Finally, we will restart our database and we will check that the database is started with SP file. The cluster parameter is set to false and the thread that is only one thread. And as I mentioned, the remote connectivity is very important. So we will check the remote connectivity to make sure that our password file is working fine. So these are the steps that I will be performing and I will 
now start the exercise so let's let me open the putty session the connection to the database and let me set my environmental variable to convert d1 so that's done i've set this particular environmental variable i will run srvctl status database minus d not required i have already verified this via the via the sql developer as you can see that i have got two instances running and both are in read write mode but i have done that particular check once again using the status database what i will be doing is i will now i can also run this particular command so let me connect to sql plus as sysdba and at check db dot sql is the select statements nothing big in it it's just a select statement which which is the same select statement which i which i have executed here which selects that there are two instances on two different host databases convert d read write mode we will now we will check if we have the init file related to this particular database so let's check that and we do not have the init file so now let me connect back to the database and show parameter cluster and this particular parameter should be set to true and i have got two instances as you can see from here and if i do show parameter sp file then you should be able to see that this particular database is running on sp file so now we will the create the p file from this particular sp file so that's done so once that is done i will go back and i will run the ls minus l command and you can see that i got the convert d1 so what i will do now is here at this moment this was the only step that we have to do in the existing database so we have okay so now i'm going to actually i i'm not going to stop the database actually so now what we need to do is i am going to now go to my this and here instead of launching the dbua i will launch the dbca so let me clear this scene and i need i will launch the dbca and as i mentioned i will be using this particular option oracle rack database instance management this is the option that i will be using so i'll do this option the next thing that i will do is delete an instance i'm going to delete the instance so so, so th for this particular database okay so i'm going to delete this particular instance this this delete an instance for this particular database so this and password is password next it's going to check the instances and it's going to give me the list of instances so let's give it a minute and you can see i'm going to delete the instance 2 running on node 2 so that's what i'm going to do so let's do that so i'm going to delete instance number 2 from node 2 so i'm going to click on finish so it's it says that you know is it will delete everything yes i'm going to delete say yes so let's wait for this instance to get deleted so once this particular instance is deleted then we will check now we will check this okay let's see that is still not not deleted so let's okay you can see now i have only one instance but instance name is still the same as d1 it's not the database name so okay that thing will change when we drop the database so let's wait for this so it's still deleting okay once this instance is deleted we are going to stop the database then we are going to okay so i need to do some steps okay so it's okay while it's getting deleted so let's continue with our steps okay so what we need to do is we need to copy this particular p file so that's done and now you can see i have copied this particular file so let me edit this particular file so this particular file and i will delete any parameter related to instance 2 i have to delete carefully okay so i'm deleting any parameters related to instance 2 so that is done okay i think i left some parameters which i will do here so cannot find entry in okay so uh, while i was okay continue that's fine no problem no problem no problem okay whatever error we are going to see safely ignore it so now i will edit some more parameters from this particular file so 
Okay, so I've deleted the, that particular parameters. I think I left some, so I'm going to delete some more parameters. Done. And here there is the instance number that also I'm going to delete. The next step that I mentioned is any instance one parameters marked as stars. So that is the second thing. So take this particular thing, control C, control H, this one, make it star. So that's done. So then I'm going to make the third step cluster database to false. So I'm going to do that as well. So make it false. So that's done. Same. Okay, so we are good. So now I'm going to stop the database. At this moment, I'm going to stop the database. So let me stop the database. And then I'm going to remove the database from the cluster. So I'm going to remove once the database is stopped, I'm going to remove the database from cluster, add it back as a single. So let's wait for it to be stopped. You cannot remove the database if it is running. So remember, you have to stop the database before removing. So that's why I'm waiting for it to be stopped. It's it it's Oracle. It takes time to start and shut down the database. So give it a minute. Once that is done, I'm not sure what it is doing. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay. Huh. Oh, it will not work because it will ask for my prompt. Okay, so yeah. Okay. So yes, so I've removed it. So that's done. Then I'm going to add it back. And that's done. Then we will start it at this moment. The conversion is completed. And now if you see the instance should be start the instant the P file, the parameter will come back as the, the pmon will come or instance will come back as convert d not convert d1 let's wait for it to be started so that's done ps minus ef grep pmon and you can see that we do not have one here it's convert d which is the name of the database so the name of the database matches to sid so that's done so now what we will do is we will that this particular variable so that's done connect to the database and run our query to see how our instance looks like so instance name is convert d the database name is convert d is in read write mode so looks like our database is good we will do some kind of verification so we what we will do is we will see if the database is started with sp file or p file so it looks like it started with sp file p file so we will create the sp file in the asm location so that's done then what we will do is we will shut the database again before doing that i will just show you okay I, that we can do in the in the begin end so i'm going to shut it and then i'm going to again start start up the database okay and we we are going to do the final checks such as the the database should be started with sp file the cluster parameter should be set to false and there should be no thread associated with the instance too so these are the things that we are going to check and at the same time i will also start once this particular database is started i will launch the dbua back again to show that convert d database is no longer a lag database it's a single instance database so let's wait so <coughs> sorry so dbua so i'm going to wait for it to come back so okay encoding overloaded that's fine i get this this error this pc is not that powerful so that's why i get this error so the database is started again and i'm going to launch the dbua and this time the convert d database should be Convert D database should be a rag database. So let's see the convert D. Sorry, it should be a single instance. So you can see the convert D database is single instance. So that looks good. And now what we will do is we will do our final check. The final check is show parameter SP file. The database is started with SP file. That's good. The the cluster parameter is sometimes it gets typed. Okay, the cluster parameter is false. That's good. The thread there is only one thread so that is good so looks like everything is done 
now what we are what we need to do is the final step which is the remote connectivity so let me disconnect and reconnect to this particular database and let's see and i got invalid username password so it looks like the password file is messed up so now what i'll do is this is the final step so let me go to asm so i think asm is not set so let me go to node 2 aura env plus asm2 so i'm going to asm then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go there cd plus asm1 that's the disk group cd convert d that's the database name ls minus l cd password file so ls minus l looks like we have a password file so i'm going to copy this particular password file again using the password copy command and here i specify the db unique name and force command so i'll use the force force parameter so i'm going to do that so i'm doing that and once that is done then remote connectivity will work so that is using the same password so let's wait and you can see it worked and now i'm going to run the same query again and you can see that instance name convert d db name convert d so with these particular steps, we were able to convert our database from rack to non-rack or single instance. And this time I used the DBCA to save some steps. If you use the DBCA, then you do not have to drop the redo log groups. You do not have to delete the threads, etc., etc. So some of the things that, okay, we can do some kind of cleanup also. So if you can, you know, what I'm going to do is here we can see there are two password files the active is 261 so we can get rid of this particular password file so let's do that and what i'll also do is i'll go to parameter file there should be two parameter file because we created another hp file so you can see the active is 265 so let me remove the 260 so that's done and for safety after doing this we can restart our database one more time that's actually not required but we can just you know sanity check we can do so let's do that so convert m and okay so i'm on node 2 that's fine so let me go let me go to node 1 clear and or env and convert d that's good so what i'll do now is i'll connect to this particular database start it start immediate and start up and then it should come back and the remote connectivity should work the sp file should be in asm and then we are good so i in this particular tutorial the most important thing was creating the p file removing any parameter related to instance 2 changing the instance 1 parameter to star change the cluster database to false and remove the database from cluster and add it back these are the most important steps if you follow this particular document probably if you ever have a requirement to convert your rack to non-rack you can follow this particular document and you should be able to do that in your live environment i hope this particular tutorial was useful thank you for watching okay i already initiated the startup so i'm going to wait and you know before ending just to send it to check because we have deleted the password file etc etc so let me do reconnection so disconnect and connect so let's see if it works yes it got connected so that's good and i should have you know the final thing that i wanted to show is show parameter sp file and you know it should be in the asm so everything seems to be working fine thank you for watching i hope this particular tutorial was useful see you in next tutorial and if you did like my channel if you do like my videos do subscribe to my channel i will post such more such videos uh, from my busy schedule. Thank you and see you in next video. Bye bye.